This is a 2016 Platinum 28 foot stock combo with 24 foot livestock area and 4 foot dressing room. Hopefully the sun's not making this picture look too crazy. Um, this trailer has upgraded wheels, white skin on the nose, the neck, and the dressing room door. It has not been detailed yet. I just got it washed. Uh, we still have to uh, detail it. Manual jack. Spare. The step at the dressing room. And in the dressing room, it has rubber mats, two brush boxes on the door, rubber mats on the floor, removable four tier saddle rack, carpeted bulkhead wall with it looks like 10 bridle hooks, um, two lights in this, this, in this dressing room. Uh, that carpeted bulkhead wall keeps it nice and quiet in here so that your bridles aren't swinging. Um, and making a lot of noise back there. There's a five foot clothes rod. We can leave the mattress in or we can take it out. There is a cleat uh, to get into the nose and the nose, the drop and the nose are carpeted. And there's also a um, plexiglass holder, plexiglass tray uh, for the plexiglass, which is all here, I believe. I have not put it in, but I believe it's all here. Let me check. There are five outside tie hooks on this side. The road light. And another look at those upgraded wheels. We need to replace this rear light. That'll be done. Uh, rear halogen load light. Oh, that sun is so bright. <laughs> Not complaining though, we need it. Do a slider on the rear gate. with another latch for both the full door and that. Rubber mats, I don't have them down exactly, um, but they're in really good shape. Floors in really good shape. The fender wells, wheel wells are um, rubber lined and there's a slam latch on this gate. This trailer has two swing doors so you can actually if you have some cattle load and you want to stand behind there you can or they're just nice. Um, they hold themselves open so it's a nice option. There are four uh, roof vents in this trailer and also a six foot adjustable gate rail. I think it's six. Two, three, four, five, six, unless there's one more up front. No, you have six one foot um, adjustments that you can make. This front compartment um, is nice because you can put one horse up here We've put some portable panels up here, um, hay, everything else. We did um, rubber line. I should say we did. This was a trailer that we had had and sold and have back again. Um, we did rubber line. I put the dust shield around the escape door. It's not at the bottom because you trip on it, but that does help keep water out. So if you want to put hay, grain, things like that up here, that's an option we do often and like. And then as you can see, it's not perfectly clean, but it really is pretty clean. And I can see a few spots of my um, power washing that was much better on this side than on the other side. And then there are also interior tie hooks. Can't tell, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like eight, nine. There's nine interior tie hooks on this side. So you have lots of options there. And then on this other side, oh, there is also a um, dust shield around this rear door too. It helps with your hauling in the winter. And you like to have it a little more closed up. You can, you can open the roof fence. You can take some plexi out. This still has the plexi in the rear doors. Um, that's a little nice option too, I do sometimes. There's some um, scratches from horses pawing on this trailer, but there really aren't any dense dings that has been used, but it really overall it's in good shape. There's also a, a load light on this side, so there's one on each side and one on the rear. And also five tie hooks on this side, the outside gate release on this rear gate, but not on the front gate because the front gate's that adjustable gate. And then your escape door 
with your step. Um, you should use that with like storage. So that's an overall look. Um, nothing too too major to point out. There are, will be things that will touch up um, as we detail it, but overall it looks really good. And there's a, a quick peek for you. See that right here? You can see some scratches on the rear door just from pawn, but it's not. It's not even. You can't even feel them. They're just there.